In the last video, I broke down the personality of Mbunu and its deep ancestral history. Other than being a mild cleanser, I also showed you what makes Mbunu so good for your hair and scalp. It's the kind of information you won't get from a simple Google search. So make sure to watch that video. Okay, let's get into how I prepare and use Mbunu in my hair and some helpful tips. I like to use fresh herbs in my hair whenever I get a chance, that's just me. But before you ask, the dried version is not bad at all. In fact, even though you do lose some nutrients from drying herbs, it can also help increase the potency of certain types of nutrients and minerals. So there are pros and cons. Ambunu does not need to be boiled to release its mucilage and nutrients. So I soak my ambunu in hot water for just a few minutes. I'm making a large batch because I have braids and I like to drench my hair in this stuff. Most of you use the dried version, so I think it's important to mention the dried version of Ambunu is more concentrated with mucilage, meaning a little goes a long way. You may feel the urge to use a lot of Ambunu in one batch, but you'll just end up with really, really thick product that can't spread and coat your hair well. Ambunu works best when it's not too thick, so fight the urge. Fun fact, a lot of people think Mbunu's cleansing abilities comes from its sliminess, meaning the more slimy it is, the more it will clean your hair. That's not necessarily true. Saponin is found throughout the whole plant. So if you're using fresh Mbunu and your results isn't super slimy, no worries. It'll still cleanse your hair and scalp and all its great chemicals and minerals will still be infused in the liquid. So think of the slime as a detangler, not a cleanser. Okay, back to this. After the water cools, I take out the ambunu and squeeze out more of the good stuff. This is for compost and this is for my hair. Ambunu mixes really well with other ingredients. It can add a slippery texture to your favorite DIY recipes. You can even infuse it in my onion juice recipe. You can also infuse it in any tea rinse, so be creative. But Mbunu is so jam-packed with amazing stuff, you shouldn't feel like you have to mix it with other ingredients. Okay, I have braids in my hair, but I took a few out because I have to show you something. And for those of you that are wondering, in my experience, fresh Mbunu is just as slimy as the dried version. But personally, I prefer the way the fresh Ambunu makes my hair feel, especially when I use it consistently over time. It's just something you have to experience for yourself to know what I mean. Using it is pretty straightforward. I work in sections and focus on my scalp. Then I coat my hair with it and rake it through. Ambunu is a great mild cleanser. So it's nowhere near strong enough to remove the buildup caused by certain types of synthetic products and gels. So if you're looking for a deep cleanser, Ambunu's not it. After raking it through, I rinse it out and put that section back into a twist. That's it. I do this for my whole head and I skip using a conditioner because Ambunu works as a mild cleanser, a detangler, and for me, a conditioner. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you. See that? That's called clumping. Mbunu is really good at making your hair clump. You can also kind of see it if you're working with a larger section of hair. If you have a hair type similar to mine, this clumping effect can either make or break you. By the way, if you use combs in your hair, soaking wet hair that's also coated in Mbunu is a really good time to do so. Anyway, it may not look like it, but there's still small clumps in my hair because I don't use combs. So it's really important not to let my hair shrink up too much while it dries. And it's equally important to properly moisturize and lubricate my hair. If I don't keep my hair stretched and properly lubricated, those little, little clumps will become a thousand little complicated tangles throughout my head and eventually combine to make larger complicated tangles. These tangles can wreak havoc and result in tons of breakage. As a result, you'll probably end up blaming the Mbunu and swear never to use it again. 
when in fact, simple technique is to blame. And you could end up unknowingly missing out on all its potentially great benefits. So to recap, if you use them, comb or brush your hair while it's coated in ambunu. Avoid dryness by moisturizing and lubricating your hair. And keep your hair from shrinking too much. That should be enough to keep those damaging tangles away. Just in case you're curious, I also use ambunu when my hair is in braids. I use my onion juice recipe first, let that soak in for a while, then use ambunu to gently rinse it off. As promised, here's how I prepare and use ambunu seed oils and take advantage of all its great benefits. All you'll need is an oil of your choice. I like to use my herbal hot oil treatment because it's already been deeply infused in herbs. For me, herbal potency is best. You'll also need either a dry blender or, if you're nasty, a mortar. And of course, ambunu seeds. All you have to do is grind the seeds enough to crack open their outer shell. But the more you grind them, the faster the ambunu oils will infuse with the carrier oil. After that, add the seeds to your carrier oil and shake it around. I try to shake it around at least once a day, but you don't have to be too strict about it. After a week or so, you can strain out the oil. But I like to keep the herbs in the oil, so I just put it in a control top application bottle and I use it that way. I think we're due for another giveaway, so giveaway, 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 giveaway. I'm aware that most of you don't have access to Fresh and Bunu. I got mine from Etsy. I'll put the link below, but it is expensive and you may have to pay custom fees. So I'm going to give five of you a whole bunch of Mbunu seeds, a large herbal hot oil treatment, and a control top application bottle. This way you can make your own infused oil right away and you can grow your own Mbunu so you can have an endless supply of fresh Mbunu and seeds. To enter the giveaway, you must be subscribed to the Green Beauty channel here on YouTube. And you must have a profile on my website, www.greenbeauty.com. After completing your entry, comment, I entered the giveaway in the comment section of this video. That's it. If you're already subscribed to this channel and you already have a profile on the website, all you have to do is comment, I entered the giveaway to this video to be added. The winners will be announced exactly one week from today on Thursday, February 22nd in the comment section of this video. An email will also be sent to you to let you know that you won. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything. So here's some questions and answers I came up with. If I miss something, just let me know below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. I can't wait to give away some seats. As always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.